Welcome back. I'm trying to complete every quest in old school RuneScape without the use of guides, plugins, or the wiki on an Iron Man. Oh yeah, and this is my first Iron Man. This is unguided. We rejoin the journey partway through Recipe for Disaster, with only one more council member to save, Ceramic Vars, and there's one big quest blocking us, the Legends quest. That's the quest I need to complete before I can rescue him, so that's our next goal. Unfortunately, the Legends quest isn't something we can just go ahead and take on straight away. The quest has a few requirements, this is what they look like. We have three required quests, two of which have required subquests of their own, and two skills that we need to train, Thieving, and my favourite skill of all, Herblore. Fortunately, we're not too far away from Herblor, currently sitting at level 43, and thieving shouldn't be too bad either. My plan of attack is this, sort the Shiloh Village requirement, first needing to take on Jungle Potion. Then, we'll complete the Family Crest quest, after which we'll go for the Heroes quest, which first requires Merlin's Crystal. Well, there's not much else to say, let's sort the Jungle Potion. What the fuck was that? What the hell was that? What on earth was that that just hit me? What is going on over there? Brudu victim? Oh my god, what the hell is going on? What is that? I'm getting attacked by a Brudu victim over here. I've never seen these people before. I'm gonna go and kill one of them. There's a gem rock here as well. What is this? He's not actually attacking me. This is bizarre, I've never seen this before. I don't know what is going on. I don't know what this gem rock is. I don't know if it's something to do with what this person's doing. They seem to be doing some sort of reinforcement of a village fence. I actually can't even hit this guy either. I'm doing no damage to him. Why can I not hit this person? What? What is going on? I have so many questions about what is happening right now. There's three of these guys I can't seem to hit on this person at all. I don't know if I'm... I'm not that drained. My stats aren't that bad. I really want to kill him though. I don't know what this mate's doing over here. He's sort of chucking up some hand signs. I think it must be something to do with what this person is doing that I'm not too sure about. I don't actually know what's going on there. I am slowly killing this guy, but I'm about to run out of prayer. And there's a gem rock here that I've never seen before as well. I'm tempted to run and get like a, a pickaxe, to be honest, because there might be some gems in here that I can get. But I've never seen this before. I spent a lot of time here, obviously, a couple of episodes ago, and I didn't see any of this. I'm so curious about what I'm going to get from this. If I just get bones, I'll be a little bit frustrated, but... All right, there we go. Killed him. Tribal mask. That's pretty cool. I was sort of hoping for that to be fair. Whoa, look at this. Look at this. That's fucking sick. That is so cool. What a way to start this quest. Jesus Christ. I have no idea what's going on here. I wonder if I can kill, if I kill that one, I can get the gray one as well, which does look cooler. Hmm, I'm tempted. That took a long time. I'm gonna do it. Why not? I mean, this must be to do with the quest, right? Or some sort of mini game? Is there a mini game around here? Oh, there is. There is a mini game in here. It must be part of this mini game that this person's taking part in or something. I wonder why they're so strong though. I wonder if they're weak to something like magic or I should be using range on them or something like that. I mean, they don't do a huge amount of damage to be honest but I'm just really struggling to kill them oh my god okay I've just realized why I'm not hitting anything my stats have been drained to like 16 and 20 and it keeps going down right okay I'm giving up here I'm gonna pack this in because I'm not about to kill him let's just leave but yeah anyway Let's get started with the quest. We start this quest by talking to Trufitus Shakaya of the Taiboy Wanai village. The residents are afraid to stay in the village, and Trufitus needs to commune with the gods to see what fate befalls them. To do so, he needs a special potion. He'd like our help collecting the rare herbs needed for the potion, all of which are only found deep within the surrounding jungle. The first herb that you need to gather is called snakeweed. It grows near vines in an area to the southwest of here. The ground turns soft and the water kisses your feet. The ground turns off and the water kisses your feet. Well, that means it must be near some sort of pond. Maybe around here, southwest. Maybe this way. Yeah, southwest. Must be around near the beach. Right, let's head over there. So he said that if I complete the quest, I'm going to get some training in herb lore, which is brilliant because I need 45 herb lore. And I was hoping that, oh my god, get off me. And I was hoping that these quests would uh, reward me with some XP for herb lore. And it does seem to be the case. Right, marshy jungle vine. This sounds about right. He said it'll grow near some vines. Let's search here. 
Nice, we've got some grimy snakeweed. Right, let's take it back to him. Oh my god, these guys are really annoying. I think I'm going to hot worlds to stop them from attacking me because I'm hoping that this is only happening in this world. Please clean it first. Oh, okay, cool. Clean that. There you go. Some XP. You give the snakeweed to Truffitus. Great. The next herb is called Ardragul. It's related to the palm and it grows to the east in its brother's shade. To the east you'll find a small peninsula. It's just after the cliffs come down to meet the sands. Here is where you should search for it. Right, so the peninsula to the east where the cliffs meet the sands. Oh, here. Oh, peninsula must be this bit, right? Cliffs. There's a cliff here, I think. That's sort of northeast, though. I think it's east this way, where the cliffs meet the sand. So these are cliffs. Um, is it that over there? Those, there's some palms over there. Yeah, that looks about right. It's a search palm tree. Can I search this? Oh, cool. I just found it straight away. I think this is it. Yeah, cool. Grimy Ardrigal. Right, let's clean that and take that back to him. Oh my god, there's more of these broodoo victims. What is going on? Right. Let's talk to Trifitus. Here we go. The next herb is called Sitofoil, and it grows best where the ground has been blackened by the living flame. Right, that is south of here, because I remember that, because I spent ages here looking for that bloody spit. So I know this area fairly well now, so I think it must be here, because there's a fire going on. Here we go. I can search the scorched earth. There we go. Let's take it back. I hope we get quite a lot of XP for this. I'd be very surprised. I probably won't get that much, though, because I think it's a very short quest. Here you go. Just two more herbs to collect. The next herb is called Valencia Moss. Welcome to a part of the video that I like to call attempting to speak my native and only language. It clings to rocks for its ex... It clings to rocks for its ex... It clings to rocks for its existence. It clings to rocks for its... It clings to rocks. It's difficult to see, so you must search for it well. It prefers rocks of high metal content and a frequently disturbed environment. There are some, I believe, to the southeast of this village. I think there's a mining spot. There it is. I can see it over there. So I assume it's going to be around here somewhere. Oh my life. These people are so annoying. Why are they everywhere? How did I not see these last time? Right. I don't know if I can search these rocks here. Yeah, search rocks. There we go. Again, I am going to hop because I'm just going to hopefully find a world that doesn't have these broodoo people going around. Oh my god, they're here. They're everywhere. Let me hop again. Right, I don't see any more of them. I think we might be in the clear. Anyway, let's give him this herb. There we go. Have that. Oh, I haven't cleaned it. Right, now let's give it to him. One final herb and the potion will be complete. This is the most difficult to find as it inhabits the darkness of the underground. It's called Rogue's Purse and it's only to be found in caverns in the northern part of this island. A secret entrance to the caverns is set into the northern cliffs of this land. Take care as it might be dangerous. Right, okay, cool. I think that is probably the cavern that is near the this one here. I have got no food at this point. I've maybe stupidly used half of it trying to kill those broodoo people. So hopefully there's nothing too dangerous in there. All right, let's search these rocks and hopefully we can get in here. Okay, cool, we're in. And there are some level 53 mobs in here, but I think we'll be all right. Um, let's see what I can search. Oh, they are attacking me. Oh, there we go. What's this? Fungus covered wall. Is that stopping me from searching? Oh my God, please get off me. I think I'm still searching. Yeah, I am. Right, I think I just have to stick it out. Come on, find the herb, man. Oh, please find the fucking herb. Jesus Christ, what is going on? I don't know if I'm being stupid here. Maybe it's not actually searching the wall. I'm going to die. Oh, I got it. Get out of here. Fucking hell. Jesus Christ, that took a long time. I've got 24 health. Right, I'm out. Right, I've got the rogue's purse. Give that a clean. Last herb done. Let's get back to the guy. We have zero prayer. We have 25 HP and no food. How I've managed to almost die doing the jungle potion quest is actually incredible. Oh, God. There we go. Here's your rogue's purse. You return all the herbs to me and I can finish the preparations for the potion. And at last, divine with the gods. Many blessings on you. I must now prepare. Please excuse me whilst I make arrangements. Shows you some techniques in herb lore and you gain some experience. Right, how much are we going to get? 775, that's not too bad. One quest point and 775 herb lore XP. That is very nice. Right, we'll take that. Only 2.4k to get to 44 and then one more level after that. Right, now it's time to take on Shiloh Village. Let's go. We start this quest by talking to Mossel Ray. We meet him just outside of Shiloh Village that's been overrun by undead. He tells us that Rashilia has returned and we're all doomed. He goes on to explain that Rashilia is the queen of the undead. Her returning has brought a plague of undead to the village. He tells us that we can help by talking to Trifitus who we've just met. He gives us what's called a one pump belt. The belt contains the story of what's going on and will give him the context he needs to help out. Right, let's talk to Trifitus. My greatest respects, Bonner. I have communion with the gods and the future looks good for my people. We are happy now that the gods are not angry with us. Oh, that's nice. You should deliver the good news to the Buona Tim Fraku. Chief of Tai Boy One Eye. Okay, cool. Uh, is that part of this quest? I haven't even started Shiloh Village. What the hell? He's already. What? He's given me the thing and he told me to come and speak to this person. Uh, maybe I need to go and talk to the chief first, uh, who is. I don't know where they are actually. And I've already forgotten his name. Let's talk to him again. Buona Tim Fraku. Tim Fraku. All right. Where is Tim Fraku? Not around there. Maybe they're in this bit here. I can't even find the chief. That's a good start, isn't it? Bloody hell. What's up this ladder? 
Oh, here it is, Tim Fraku. Truffet has sent me. It's commune with the gods. Your village was never cursed and your people are free to return. Warner, do you speak the truth? Yes. I helped him gather the ingredients for the commune potion. And it must be true. Right. That was... Oh, I just accidentally clicked out of a dialogue option. Okay, let's get back through this again. There we go. I kind of thank you enough for what you've done so far. This is starting a different quest. I don't think I'm doing this right. There's a quest marker here. I think I'm accidentally starting the Tie Boy One Eye Trio quest. I'm going to not do this. And then instead, I'm going to go back to Truffitus. I'm actually going to use this belt on him because that might start the actual quest I want to do. Yeah, here we go. Cool. You show Truffitus the Wampum Belt. He studies it for a long time. This message from Mossel Ray bears bad news. What do you know about Rashilia? It's been a long time since I heard that name. Rashilia is the queen of the undead, and a more fearsome enemy you'll be unlikely to find. I fear that you bring me news that she's returned to plague us once again. Did I just get scold? Oh no, someone just logged in underneath me. Alas, I know of no weakness that she has, so there's nothing we can do. Not that I can think of. Mossel raised this thing about a legend. Ah oh, yes, there is a legend. The last place to hold any details regarding this mystery was in the temple of Arzarun, and that's long since vanished. Why is it called Arzarun? It's from an ancient language. The direct translation is magnificent floating on water, but my research makes me believe that the temple was built on land, and most likely between large bodies of water, for example, large lakes. However, many people have searched for the temple and failed. I would hate to see you waste your time on a pointless search like that. Right, that. It's probably something we have to find at some point. I'm going to search for Arzarun. Right, cool. Now we can start the quest. Yes, let's start it. I'm seriously going to look for Arzarun. I'd appreciate your help. Okay then, Buona. Good luck with your quest. And remember to stock up well with adventuring supplies before setting off. You never know how useful some fairly ordinary things might be when you're adventuring. Okay, cool. That's an interesting thing to say. Some fairly ordinary things. Right. I need to find the location of Arzarun. That is literally all I am told. Let's just talk to him again real quick. Uh, I don't know where to look. The only information I have refers to his name. His name means Magnificence Floating on Water. Water. I suspect it was built to appear as if it was floating on water, perhaps on an island or between large bodies of water. If you search for somewhere like this, you may find something worth investigating. Right, somewhere between large bodies of water. There's quite a lot of water around here. Well, that's that's something there. That could be a bit, couldn't it? Maybe a bit between two water. Uh, we've got this area as well, which also is in between two bits of water. Unless it's this massive thing here. This is, to be fair, surrounded by water as well. It's like an island. So perhaps it's this. Let's do a little route. Uh, I'm going to walk down down this way check out this little patch and then go to here and check this patch because this seems pretty convincing because that could be seen as like a temple flowing on water right because it's completely surrounded it's his own island so yeah let's head down that way and check it out Oh my god, this fucker is back. I have a feeling I'm going to need some uh, equipment, which I don't have on me. In fact, actually, before we go down there, there is a general store just up here that sells some interesting stuff. Let's uh, trade this person and get some supplies. We can get anything. Yeah, cool. Um, he said some fairly ordinary things, so I'm going to buy some stuff. I'm going to buy a spade. I'm going to buy a hammer, a knife. I'm just going to get some ordinary bits, whatever he described it as. Probably an axe as well. Maybe a machete and a pickaxe as well. I think that's a good selection of ordinary things I've just picked up here. And he did say I'm going to need them. So this is where I'm thinking it could be some sort of entrance here into this bit of water, but it doesn't look like there's anything I can actually do there. Let's go over to this way first and see if there's anything going on over here. Oh, hello. I found a mound of earth in the jungle, which seems curious. What? What mound of earth? Did I just find it over there? Was it this thing I just stood on? I didn't actually do anything, but the quest log was updated. I found a mound of earth in the jungle, which seems curious. Unless I walked over it beforehand, it might be this though. What can I do? Can I dig it? Nothing happens. Nothing interesting happens. What did I walk over? Apparently I found a mound of dirt, but I, I didn't. This doesn't seem to be working. I don't think this is it. But I'm really, really confused as to what I've walked over. It must be something that I've just passed over because it's already updated it. Let's walk back the way we just came and look out for a mound of dirt. Is it this hole? I don't think it's this hole because I spoke to this person before and they said something about dragons. There's no other mound of dirt here. I walked up to the general store and then back down. No, there's no mound of dirt here. Why is the quest log updated it? Have I found it already? That's really confusing to me. Unless it is this and I have to do something else to it. There's a rock slide there. Maybe using a pickaxe on these rocks. Nope, nothing happens. This is bizarre. I don't know when that changed in the quest log, unfortunately. I don't know if that changed after I spoke to him. Can I walk down here? I can. What about now digging? No. There's nothing I can use a pickaxe on. Am I in the right location? I don't even know if I am. Okay, let's carry on over this way. I'm wondering if it's this island still. This is what my thought was, but I don't know why the quest log was updated as if I've already found it. Oh, jeez. Hey, there we go. Is it this thing here? There's a rock slide here. I wonder if I can use a pickaxe on that. Nope, nothing happens. Can I dig it? No. What about talking to this guy? Tinsei. 
Nope. I don't think this is it. Oh, what's this? Investigate well-stacked rocks. Let's do that. These rocks look like they've been stacked uniformly. Don't know what that means. Let's search it. You find nothing of significance, and it does look quite scary. Right. I don't know what that's for, but it doesn't look like it's the same thing. Right. The only thing I can think of is that it's something that I found in a different quest at a different time, and for some reason it's like logging it as if I found it during this quest. I'm trying to think where else I've seen a mound of rocks. I remember seeing one like over this side here, maybe this bit or this bit ages ago like when I was doing the uh, monkey madness quest line or where you're going to and from the shipyard and I walked down here as well at, at another point in, in the quest when I was trying to get actually whilst I was doing what was I doing actually? I can't remember what I was doing, but I was down here and I found a gnome walking around. There was a mound of rocks around here, so maybe I should go and visit that place. But I haven't been over there in a while. I definitely haven't been over there since I started this quest, so I'm a little bit confused to be honest. Right, so this is the first area. There's nothing here, but there is something over there. A boulder, mossy rock. Um, I mean, it's sort of near water. Maybe could be seen as being an island or a temple on the water. Here we go, mound of earth. Actually, wait. Mound of Earth, yeah, it must be this one. Why on Earth is that updated in my quest log as if I just found it? I found this ages ago, so it, the game must know that I have been here before, and I might have searched it or something, and it's just updated it automatically. Right, let's look at it. It looks as if something's buried here. Okay, let's search it. You may need some tools to excavate further. Right, okay, cool, let's try and dig. You start digging. You dig a small hole and almost immediately hit granite. You excavate the hole a bit more and see that there's a small fissure. You might just be able to crawl through it. Beyond the fissure is a long fall. I think we need some rope. Do you want to try and crawl through the fissure? I'm a bit worried, because it says there's a long fall. I should probably have a rope, right? Yeah, let's get a rope. It says a long fall, so I'd be surprised if... Oh, it just... The mound of dirt just came back. I don't know why that just happened. Right, let's go and get some rope, um, and we'll come back. I can't remember if the general store that I just went to had rope in it or not. I probably would have bought some if it was there. Let's go to Ardy. Let's go to Ardy, go to the bank, get some rope, and then come back. Right, so we're back. Just got the glider to this little spot, and it's just right next to the place, which is good. So, let's dig again, and then let's search. Yes, I'll give it a go. You're not sure what lies beyond. Oh, it's very dark. Maybe I should use the rope on it? It's too dark to clearly see where to fix that. Right, I think I need a light source. I think I've got a torch in the bank, or a camera handle at least. Let's go back and grab a light source. Right, there we go, grab that. I have a bug lantern, but I have a feeling that this doesn't count as a light source. I've got a candle. Hopefully that is enough. I've got a tinderbox on me as well. If I, I can I can always relight it. Right, let's dig once more. Third time lucky. Fish looks very dark. You're not sure what lies beyond. Let's drop a rope on it. Uh... It's too dark to clearly see where to fix that. Oh, I don't understand. I've got a light source. <sighs> what does that mean? Can I use a candle on it? Oh! Are you sure? You won't get the iron back. Maybe I can drop a candle down there or something. Let's do it. You drop the lit candle into the fissure and see that there's quite a large drop after you get through the hole. There's a good anchor point nearby onto which you could tie a rope. Nice. Right, now I should be able to do that. Yeah. There we go. Right, now let's search it, I guess. Yes, let's give it a go. Oh, we're going in. We're in. We are it. Who are you, mate? Right. Okay, an undead one. So it looks like we're in the right place, if this is the undead place. I don't know what I'm doing here now. Here we go. The cavern system I found might be Arzarune. If I could identify the cavern, it would help a lot. Right, I need to identify this place somehow. Uh, there seems to be these stones on the floor. I don't know if that is anything. I don't think so. I need to identify this place somehow. There's a cave-in over there. There's a smashed table. Let's search that. I can craft on it, apparently. It might be useful with some adjustment. Let's craft on it. You may be able to turn this dilapidated table into something that could help you get out of this place. What would you like to try and turn this table into? Oh, I don't know. What is this? I have an option, and I don't know what to use it on. I'm a bit worried. I've got no reason for any of these things at the moment. Um, let's search this cave-in first, because I, I have a feeling if I make the wrong thing, then I'm fucked. Let's search this cave-in and see what that is. Oh, okay. We're now at the other end of it. Oh, there's no map for this place. Right, let's go up a little bit. Don't know where I am. Oh, there's something up here. Ancient gallows. This place is awesome. Right, some old stuff over here as well. Old sacks. Let's search those. You find a tattered but very ornate scroll which you place carefully in your inventory. Okay, sweet. So we've got a scroll. Right, let's read this scroll. This looks like a scroll about Rashilia. Would you like to read it? Rashilia's rage went unchecked. She killed without mercy for revenge of her son's life. Like a spectre through the night, she entered houses and one by one quietly strangled life from the occupants. Jesus Christ. It's said that only a handful survived, protected by a necklace wards to keep the witch queen at bay. Right, let's search these ancient gallows. You find a human corpse hanging in the nook. 
in oh get off me oh please get off me nice okay i've got him off me right let's search again you find a human corpse hanging in the noose it looks as if the corpse can be removed easily would you like to remove it yeah go on then it might animate and start attacking me no i'm gonna do it anyway i don't care you gently support the frame of the skeleton and lift the skull through the noose maybe truffitus can give you some tips on what to do with it you sense that there is a spirit that needs to be put to rest right okay cool this is interesting this place right let's see what the quest log is saying so i haven't been able to identify the place but i might be able to if i go back and don't crawl through that hole because i think there was more i think i'm in a different section of the cave but if i go back i might be able to run through the original section of the cave and identify this place right cool we're back here again right let's go this way some sort of waterfall down the bottom here is that going up or is that going down we can search the waterfall rocks let's do that you climb your way out of the cavern into the heat of the jungle right i'm out interesting so i don't know if i actually identified it i don't think i did it doesn't look like i did but what we can do is we can take these remains back to trifitus and see if we can do anything with that first i think let's do that right let's talk to trifitus oh my god this guy's still here the situation with Rashilia is worsening. I pray that you have some good news for me. I think I found the Temple of Azarun. I have some items that I need help with. Let me see the item and I can help as much as I can. Look for something that can identify the place. Leave no stone unturned. Look for details of Rashilia's kin. These may be well hidden. Have you got any items concerning Rashilia? Uh, I need some help with Zadimus. That's his body. Zadimus is a spirit yearning for freedom. Bury him in a sacred place to release his spirit. Is there any sacred ground around here? The ground in the center of village is very sacred to us. Maybe you could try there. Okay, cool. That is probably this one, right? Let's give it a go. Oh my life. Okay, I'm going back in here and I'm hopping worlds. I don't know why this guy's just standing here. Is there any more? Is there any more around here? No, it doesn't look like it. Right. Okay, let's see if we can bury this here. Oh, we're doing it. You hear an unearthly moaning sound as you see an apparition materialise right in front of you. Oh, hello. Wow. Whoa, he looks fucking cool. Look at that guy. You've released me from my torture, and now I shall aid you. You seek to dispel the one who tortured and killed me. Remember this. I am the key, but only kin may approach her. Okay, whatever that means. I'm going to write that down. The apparition disappears into the ground where you buried the corpse. You see the ground in front of you shake as a shard of bone forces its way to the surface. You take the bone shard and place it in your backpack. Right. You look at the shard of bone. The words of Zadimus come back to you. I am the key, but only king may approach her. Interesting. Okay, cool. So that's one thing sorted. That's good. Let's talk to Trefitus again. The spirit says something about a keys and kin. Hmm, maybe it's a clue of some kind. Perhaps there is something relating to Bervius at the Temple of Arzarun. Check the temple carefully if you haven't already to see if it exists. Is that what this is? Um, let me use the crumpled scroll on it. I'm speechless, Bonner. This is truly ancient. Where did you find it? In an underground building of some sort. You must have truly found the Temple of Azarun. The scroll gives some interesting details about Rashilia. Some things I didn't know before. It gives you back the scroll. Anything that can help? Well, just the part about the wards. It may be possible to make a ward like that, but what is the best thing to make it from? Perhaps something close to Bervius. An item of some significance to him. Right, so I don't think I found everything I need to in this place. I think I need to go back to the cavern system. I just don't think I looked everywhere properly. So let's go back and see if we can find anything else in there. Right. The guy said leave no stone untouched. Turn. So something makes me think that one of these stones that looks a bit out of place could be... Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> there it is. We can investigate this stone over here. The stone seems to have strange markings on it. Maybe Trefitus can decipher them. The stone is too heavy to carry, but the letters stand proud on a plaque. Maybe you could separate the plaque from the rock. Um, Use a knife on it. Oh, I'm going to need a chisel, aren't I? I guarantee it. Oh, no, I used the pickaxe on it. Perfect. You cleanly cut the plaque of letters away from the rock. You place it carefully into your inventory. Oh, perfect. Right, cool. Got the stone plaque, so that is one more thing. Um, I wonder what else there is I can maybe get around here. That might be all we need. There doesn't seem to be anything else around here. There's a dead tree, a bit random, but I don't think that will help me. Let's go back through the waterfall now that we have this and go back to Trifitus, and then it might be the last thing that we need from this place. Right, let's use the stone plaque on him. Can you decipher these, please? I can certainly try. Seems very ancient and mentioned something about Zadimus and Arzarun. It says, here lies the traitor Zadimus. Let his spirit be forever tormented. Wait, the traitor Zadimus? Isn't that the guy we just let free? Oh, if you found anything else that you need help with, please just let me know. Oh, here we go. I can show the bone shards to him. Let's do that. It looks like a simple shard of bone. No, he's just telling me the same thing I knew before. <sighs> okay, right, so I'm still missing something from this bloody temple. So let's go back for the third time. I'm convinced that I found most of the things in the first cave. Perhaps there's something in the second cavern system that I didn't catch the first time round. Right, down we go again. Okay, let's properly look around this place now, because I'm missing something quite clearly. There is a smash table, but I don't know what I can do with it. Oh, get off me, mate. Let's go back to this cave in, because there might be something around here. What am I missing? Is there anything around here? Do I have to kill one of these undead ones, maybe, and get something from them? Anything around here? Doesn't look like there is. Oh, what's that? Loose rocks. I missed that the first time. You carefully managed to remove enough rocks to see a bookshelf. 
You remove a delicate scroll from the shelf and place it in your inventory. Okay, cool, we've got another one. Right, let's read this. Uh, here we go, cool. We've got part of a scroll about someone called Ber Bavirius. Bavirius, son of King Danthalas, was killed in battle. His devout mother, okay, Rashilia, was so heartbroken that she swore fealty to Zamorak if he would return her son to her. Ah, Bavirius returned as an undead creature and terrorised the king and the queen. Many guards died fighting the undead Bavirius. Eventually, he was set on fire and soon only the bones remained. His remains were taken far to the south and then towards the setting sun to a tomb that is surrounded by and level with the sea the only remedy for containing the spirits of witches and undead right so Bavirius is the, the son of Rashilia, and she swore fealty to Zamorak he came back and started kicking off right okay I don't know what that means for us though I still haven't confirmed that this place is Arzarun if I could find Bavirius's corpse then maybe that would prove it because this scroll says that his remains were taken far to the south and then towards the setting sun to a tomb that is surrounding by and level with the sea. The only remedy for containing the spirits of witches undead. So is there going to be another corpse here? Maybe? I don't see anything. I don't think it's up here either. Let's go back to the first part of the cave and maybe now that we found this scroll we can find something else about him. I think I'm going to wait here and just get my run energy up because I haven't got much food left and I need to outrun a lot of the skeletons and undead creatures that are in this place. Right, we've got some run energy. Let's go back into the cave. Right, let's just look at this smash table again. What would you like to try and turn this table into? I mean, I don't feel like I need any of these things. I could do a ladder to get back up that way, a crude raft to go down here, but then I'll just end up at the end anyway. And I feel like if I do the wrong thing, I can't craft anything out of it again. What do I need? What was a pole vault? What would that do? That feels like the worst of the two options and it's arguably asked, for some reason that's tempting me to pick it. Like a ladder, I don't know what I'd do with a ladder. And it's like I climb onto this block, because this block is on the map, it's like a slightly different thing and I'm wondering why is that there like that. Let's do a ladder. Okay, I can't do a ladder. You don't have enough wood to properly finish the item off. Oh, and now I can't do anything else with this table. <coughs> right, okay, well I don't know if I just clicked the wrong thing, but I highly doubt that that is an option to completely lock me out of this quest, so I'm hoping that that is not a problem. Right, let's, uh, oh, what do we do now? I'm just checking out down this way and there doesn't seem to be anything else. No, nothing here. I'm going to kill one of these undead ones just to see if I get anything from them. They might drop something that uh, is a clue. I haven't done that yet, so let's give it a go. Right, do we get anything? Nothing. Not even bones. Oh my god, what was that? A green thick mist rises from the ground and starts to choke you. Jesus Christ, get away from that. Oh, okay. So this is the same green mist that's happening in Shiloh Village. So it doesn't look like killing them is the answer to anything. I'm gonna cut down this tree for no reason. Nope, doesn't do anything. Right. Okay, so maybe it is just this, this scroll that we need. So let's head back to the dude and see if this scroll gives us the ability to ca carry on the quest. I still haven't- oh my god. Please don't hurt me a lot. Oh, a 21! Bloody hell, I think I might need to go get some more food. Yeah, I'm going to have to go and get more food because that was dangerous. Let's go back and grab a bunch more food because I'm running out. Right, we are back. We have some food and hopefully this scroll is the last thing we need to find in this place because otherwise I'm a bit confused. What do you make of this? Truly amazing, Bonner. This scroll must be ancient. I'm not sure if I get more meaning from it than you though. Perhaps Bervius' tomb is still accessible. He hands the scroll back to you. Oh, for fuck's sake, right. His remains were taken far to the south and then towards the setting sun to a tomb that is surrounded by and level with the sea. Unless the tomb isn't the same tomb that I am in over here. He said far to the south that is level two or something. Wait, what did it say? Oh, here we go. His remains were taken far to the south and then towards the setting sun. So it must be southwest, right? Because the setting sun, the sun sets in the west. So it's southwest to a tomb that is surrounded by and level with the sea. Maybe now it's this place over here because it's surrounded by the sea or here maybe actually one of these places level with the sea but it's definitely southwest doesn't actually say where southwest from maybe over here I don't know oh I'm a little bit confused still but let's try it over this way so I'm, I'm all a little bit lost with the lore of this quest I'm not gonna lie I don't know where this stuff was all taking place was it in this place the temple like I don't know where he was knocking about when they captured him so maybe I was in the wrong place and maybe now I can go back to this island let's try it anyway is this it? I mean, I could try and dig here again. See if anything changes around here. Nope, nothing happens there. Right, let's move on. See, this is the only problem. This is surrounded by and level with the sea. This isn't level with the sea. It's raised above it. Let's search these well-stacked rocks again because maybe that is now searchable. Yeah, yeah, here we go. This wasn't here before. A dank, narrow crawlway. Do you want to crawl into it? Yeah, go on. 
Okay, that didn't work. Let's try again. Yeah, we're in. This has to be it. Inspect tomb dolmen. What is this? The dolmen is intricately decorated with the symbol of two crossed palm trees. It might be the family crest. You can see that there are some items on the dolmen. Okay, let's search it. You find a rusty sword with an ivory pommel. You find a crystal sphere. You find some writing on the dolmen. You grab some nearby scraps of delicate paper together and copy the text as best you can and collect them together as a scroll. Right, okay, we've got a bunch of stuff now. We've got some notes. And rest like your mother who is silent in the peace of her tomb far to the north of Arzarun. Oh, here we go. What's this? Her tomb far to the north of Arzarun, near the sea and under the hills, deep in the underground to watch all of nature from darkness of her final resting place. Right, so the, the mother might be buried to the north of Arzarun. Rashilia did so love objects of beauty. Her tomb was adorned with crystals that glowed brightly when near each other. The sphere is activated when power of a spiritual nature is expended upon it. What the hell? I need to find Rashilia's final resting place. Right, okay, cool. So now we know it's near to the north of Arzarun. Let's read that first one again because it had more direction for us. Near the sea and under the hills, deep in the underground. Near the hills and deep in the sea. To the north of this place. Would it be here again? This is near some hills and near the sea. I mean, it is the north. A little bit more to the northwest, but could be the place. I mean, let's head back over that way. How do I get out of here? Oh my god, how do I get out of here? There's really no way out of here. Oh, can I walk up this? No. Oh, I can climb up it. Right. Um, right, okay. Let's, I mean, let's go back to the, I mean, we may as well try this place. If it's underground, there's nowhere else that has like an underground entrance, I don't think. And en route, we can take these new items to Trivitus and just see if he has anything to add to it. Right, let's use the pommel on him and see what happens. It may be just the item you need to gain access to Rashilia's tomb. While you were away, I did some research. Rashilia would spare the lives of those who wore bronze necklaces. This pommel may have some significance to Bavirius. Ah, perhaps you can craft something from it that can help. Rashilia would spare the lives of those who wore bronze necklaces. Okay, maybe I have to make some sort of necklace out of this pommel then. Okay, cool, yeah, my guess is that you need some protection, so I need to get a bronze necklace. How do I make a bronze necklace? Yeah, I don't need to ask that. This confident response in knowing how to create a bronze necklace is so much funnier watching this back. You'll see in like two minutes. What should I put on the necklace? Perhaps Zadamus's clue has the answer. What was it he said again? Something about kin and keys. That sword pommel belonged to Berivius, didn't it? Okay, so I have to make a necklace with the bone shard. I am the key, but only the kin may approach her. The bone shard and the pommel hilt may be on a necklace. Uh, I don't know why I just ate that lobster. Um, what else did I find in there? This notes. Let's use that on him. They give the location details of Rashilia's tomb and some information on how to use the crystal. The information is quite specific. North of Arzarun. That's a great place to start looking. Cool. That helps me. Not really. And I think that's all I found, isn't it? Oh no, I found a crystal. Wait, I swear I found a crystal ball. Oh yeah, there it is. But you missed it. Right. I was locating crystal. I didn't even see that. This will help you locate the entrance to Rashilia's tomb. Simply activate it when you think you are near and it should glow different colours to show you how near you are. Cool. Right, so maybe that, that bit down there isn't the, the entrance. I have a really weird feeling that this general store over here sells bronze necklaces. I don't know if that's true, but I've got some sort of memory of it having it when I've been looking through there. And that is a memory that I've completely made up because it doesn't. But I can get a bronze bar. No, wait. How do I make a bronze necklace, actually? I've just thought of that. He just told me, but I didn't really listen because a bronze necklace isn't a thing, is it? It's not a thing in here. Crafting. It's a crafting thing. Jewelry. Yeah, there's no bronze necklace here. I guess I just make it the same as a gold necklace, right? I get a necklace mold. Okay, let's head back to Ardy, and I assume I just use a necklace mold on a furnace with a bronze bar. That makes sense, right? Right, let's use the bronze bar on here. Nothing happens. What about the necklace mold? Nothing happens. Can I smell? Bronze bar. Okay, I'm a bit confused, I'm not going to lie actually. I should have read what he told me. I didn't read it properly. I am going to look at the footage again and see what he said. So the guy said you need to make some bronze metal and then work it into something that can be turned into a necklace. So I'm a little bit confused by that. I assume maybe that I just used the bronze bar on an anvil instead. Oh, there's an anvil there as well. Oh, I bet that is it. I bet I didn't need to come this way. I bet I can just use that anvil just to, to knock it into shape maybe. Okay, let's go somewhere quickly where I know there's an anvil. Let's go to Varrock and see if I can just use this this uh, bronze bar on there. Bronze necklace. There's no bronze necklace. Am I blind? Is there a bronze necklace there? No, there's no bronze necklace. Oh, I'm a bit confused, man. How do I make the bronze necklace? Do I have to use the tin and the copper? Instead of having it made into a bar, maybe I have to use tin and copper. Oh, I haven't got any copper. Uh, let's go and get some copper where can i get copper from just down here maybe oh you're joking there's no copper here those are tin but no copper like right, the mines over here i'm convinced there's copper that way yeah all right cool let's get this copper okay and now let's go to falador to use the uh, um furnace here and maybe now i can use the necklace mold on there no 
Use the copper on there. I'm a bit worried about that because it's going to just make a bronze bar, isn't it? Yeah, this is just going to make a bronze bar. Oh, jeez, I'm really confused by this. Let me just try it. Yeah, it's just made a bronze bar. How do I make a bronze necklace? How on earth do I get a bronze necklace? Is there a jewellery shop somewhere? Maybe I can buy one instead. A jewellery shop. Yeah, there's one in Port Sarim. That might have one. Okay, let's go to Port Sarim. This would be the only jewellery shop about. Mm. Okay, right, let's try that out because I am really confused right now. Come on, Grum. Please have one. Oh, he doesn't have one. He's only got a gold necklace. Oh, man. I'm a bit confused here. I need to go back and watch that video again. Yeah, I don't need to ask that. So he says, I would guess that you would need to get some bronze metal and work it into something that can be turned into a necklace. So I've got the bronze metal, but what would I work it into to then turn it into something else? I'm really confused. What are the requirements for this quest? 20 crafting. It must be something in the crafting log. There's nothing. There's nothing about a bronze necklace. Other? No, nothing there. No, there's nothing. There is nothing in the in the log about how to make a bronze necklace. I feel like I've had one before. Have I had one? Have I got a bronze necklace? I feel like I've seen them in the bank. What if I just use a hammer on it? No, nope, nothing happens. Okay, maybe I have to make some sort of necklace out of this pommel then. Fucking okay, no, hell, this is really difficult. Oh, I'm really confused. I don't know how to make a bronze necklace. I don't know where to get a bronze necklace. I'm just really lost, to be honest. It says I need to get some bronze metal and work it into something that can be turned into a necklace. A necklace isn't the same as an amulet, so I have a necklace mold here. Maybe I need to use the bar. I didn't do that, actually. Did I use the bone on the furnace? Maybe I need to use the bone on the furnace or the hilt on the furnace. Let's do that. Nothing happens. What about the pommel? Nothing happens. What about using... Did I use the bone and the hilt on the anvil? Nope, nothing happens there. What about the pommel? Nothing happens there either. I didn't think that this would be that difficult, but I actually thought a bronze necklace was really commonplace, but now I'm thinking about it, I don't know if I have ever seen a bronze necklace before. There are no other jewellery shops that I can see. Literally, like, none. There's, like, one jewellery shop in the entire game. It's in Port Sarim. What is my brain failing to remember here? What does he mean? You need to get some bronze metal and work it into something that can be turned into a necklace. So what is the step between this and a necklace? I just don't get that. You know what? I'm going to go back and talk to him again because I know that I've got it open in like another window right here, but I just don't know. I really don't know what to do. I've got so much crap in my inventory. I don't know what I'm going to need and what I won't need. I mean, I might be able to enter this place without the necklace, but I don't know if I would want to do that because I might just die. What about this person? There's an anvil here. This hasn't got an option for a necklace, is it? No. What if I use the bone shard on this anvil? Or the pommel? No. What do you do here? They make machetes. No, he doesn't tell me anything. All right, let's talk to Truffitus again. He just says, I would guess that you would need to get some bronze metal and work it into something that can be turned into a necklace. That doesn't help me. Oh, it's so annoying. What's this guy saying? You help me? Oh, jeez, man, this is killing me. What do I do? I might just try and find this place without the necklace, you know, and just see what happens. Right to the north of this place, maybe around here. Actually, let's just uh, do the locator orb here. Glows brightly. Oh, maybe it is this place then. It glows brightly. It's still glowing brightly. Let's climb down here and see what happens. Oh, wait, no, maybe not. There's nothing different about the crystal. You're most likely not close enough for it to be active. Maybe this isn't the right place. No, it doesn't look right. Okay, there's nothing here. It's still glowing brightly around here. It definitely said near the sea and near the hills, didn't it? Oh, his crystal is very bright. What in the crap is that? Um, is it over there? On that side of it? Maybe it's around there. I'm definitely close to it now, anyway. Maybe I need this necklace to see it, though. Oh, that's the problem, isn't it? Maybe I do. There's a, there's a raised area over that way. Maybe it's that thing. Oh, yeah, I can search some palm trees as well. Let's look over there. I'm a little bit worried about going in without this necklace because I'd be very surprised if you can just do part of the quest without getting the necklace. Like, it feels like it's probably a requirement for a reason. The shy... Kahan. That's very cool. Is that it? Is that the woman? No. Crystal blazes brilliantly. Right, so this is definitely around here. It's the, it must be this place. Let's search these palm trees and see what happens. There's a pelican here. Never seen that before. Oh, here we go. Yep, there's the doorway. Let's search the carved doors. Examining the door, you see it has a very strange lock. You're shocked to find that it seems to be made out of bone. Right, maybe this is uh, this is the key, right? Use that on there. Ah, okay. You try to use the bone shard on the lock. Although it's just about the right size, you find that it just doesn't fit the lock. What about the pommel? Use the pommel on the door? No, I definitely need this necklace thing, don't I? What is this massive dog? Like a lion thing. I can't even do damage to it. Yeah, I'm literally doing no damage to this thing, so I don't think I can actually hurt it. Let's not kill this thing. Oh man, how do I make a bronze necklace? 
Can you make like molten bronze? Because that's what I feel like I need. But I don't know if you can. Because there's no other molten like bronze that you can make like that. Unless I'm an idiot and it's a bronze center and not the whole thing is made out of necklace. Maybe it's gold and bronze. So you'd have a gold necklace with a bronze middle bit. And that is just like the bronze bar is like the gem. Let's try that. That seems to make slightly more sense. I've got some gold bars. Nice. Let's grab one of those. Right. Let's use, let's smelt this. Can we do anything here? Gold necklace. Not a bronze necklace. Oh, how do I do that then? That's not right, is it? Unless I need to make a gold necklace first. No, but it would be here. It would be here as an option. Look, these are all the other types of necklaces I can make. Oh, uh, this is too much. Let me try and do it. Let me make a gold necklace. And then let me use a bronze bar on it. No, nothing happens. Let me use that on there. No. Let me use the bone shard on the necklace. No. The pommel? No. Ooh, this is long. Right, I think I might need to try it with some tin and some copper. Because I'm now thinking that if I have a gold bar on me... I could maybe make a bronze necklace, like by using a gold bar and some tin and copper. I mean, I don't think it's gonna work, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, let's use that on there. No, nothing happens. Oh, it's the same gold necklace, but there's no bronze necklace. Unless I can craft a key out of this bone shard, nothing happens. What about if I use a chisel on it? Oh, it fucking does! You successfully make a key out of the bone shard. Right, okay, cool. Now what do I do? Do I use that on something? On the furnace, maybe? Wait, I need to go get the bronze bar again. Do I use that on there? No, okay, that still doesn't work. Okay, we've got the bone key, so maybe I can go now. Yeah, provides access to Richelia's tomb. But what the hell is this bronze necklace about? I don't understand it. Uh, can I now use that on there? No, I can't still. Can I use the bone key on there? No. Uh, maybe now I can use it on an anvil or something. I've gone to the wrong place. I meant to go to Varrock. Let's use the bone key on there. Anything? No, nothing happened. Happens. Any bronze necklace appeared? No, there's nothing. Right, I'm gonna go back with the key. I've got no idea if I'm gonna die because I don't have a bronze necklace. I may well die, but we have the key, so I'm feeling like now we can get back into that place. Right, let's head back to the tomb entrance and hopefully we can get in. Right, we are back. We have the bone key. I am not confident this is gonna work just because I don't have the bronze necklace, but let's search these palm trees. Oh, the doors are still there. Right, okay, let's use the bone key on the doors. Doors creak open. The doors close behind you with the sound of crunching bone before you stretch as a winding tunnel blocked by an ancient gate. Right, so we are in. Oh, here's Rashilia. Let me squeeze the life from your mortal frame. Okay, I am dying. I don't think this is meant to happen. I'm not gonna lie. Can I get through here? Search the gate. Let me try and kill this thing. I don't know if I'm meant to be doing this. I think if I have the bronze necklace, I probably can just talk to her or something. Let's try and kill this thing. Maybe I can search this gate real quick. Let's go, let's search it. It looks like a human figure with something around its neck. It looks scary. No, I can't open anything. Oh, I don't think this is right, is it? Something around its neck. I bet that's the bronze necklace or something. If we go out of here, can we go out of here? No, the door seems to be locked. How actually would I get out of here if I didn't have teleports? Because I'm just going to teleport out of here, but yeah, there's no way of getting out of here. I think I need to go and make... Oh, here we go. If this is Rashilia's final resting place, I better search it thoroughly and see if I can find her remains. I'm an idiot. I haven't brought my spade with me. I bet I need my spade in here. Why did I put my spade away? I can't use the pickaxe on the floor. Okay, right, let's go back. We're going back to Ardy. We're grabbing a spade and we're coming all the way back. Oh my god, this quest has taken me about two hours by this point. Maybe Maybe longer. This is insane. So maybe there are two ways to complete this quest. Maybe you can go in there without the bronze necklace and just kill the undead uh, creature. Maybe if you had a bronze necklace, then you could do it without having to do that and you could make peace with her or something. I don't know. Let's just go back. Hopefully this spade can help us uh, find her remains inside the place. I bloody hope so. Right, we are back again. Let's use the bone key on... Oh, the door's already open. Let's just go back in here. Hopefully she spawns again. Here she is. Uh, she tries to attack me. And then we just pray and kill this one. Right, that's dead. Right, now, uh, let's see. Can we just dig? Nothing interesting happens. Nothing interesting happens. Oh, dear Lord, there's nothing going on. I think I need this fucking bronze necklace. Please tell me I don't need the bronze necklace. I think I do. Oh, I didn't actually know I could get out of there. You get a sense that something is incomplete. Yeah, I know that because I haven't bloody completed the quest. Maybe I can go back in here? No, she doesn't come out again. Oh, here she is again. Oh, there's two of them. Oh my god, there's three of them. I don't think this is right. I mean, I might kill them all, but I really don't think this is right. I think what's meant to happen is I'm meant to have the bronze necklace on me, and then by doing so, she won't attack me. Instead, she'll talk to me. But I haven't got a clue how to make a bronze necklace. Right, killing those three doesn't seem to have done anything. I'm going to do something probably a waste of time, but I'm going to dig on every single square inside this cavern, just in case it's a random square that I need to dig on, and I've not done it. Nope, oh, okay, cool. I just dug the whole place and there is nothing. So I definitely need to make this bronze necklace. Oh God, she's back. How many's gonna spawn this time? 
bloody hell, quite a lot of them. Right, I'm getting out of here. Okay, bronze necklace. Unless it's a silver bar, can I make a silver necklace? Because I think there's brass necklaces in this game. I know of brass necklaces, but not bronze necklaces. Maybe I can make a silver necklace, like silver and then a bronze bar. Let's try that. Let's get some, have we got a silver bar? We do, nice. Oh, hello. Uh, this is other stuff. There's an opal necklace, a jade and a topaz necklace. None of which are the ones I want. And there's no bronze necklace on the right hand side. Oh, I'm just so confused, man. If a gold bar makes a gold necklace and a silver bar makes a silver necklace, why on earth does a bronze bar not make a bronze necklace? This is the most backwards thing I've ever seen in my life. Just for God's sake, make it make sense, man. What is the step that I'm missing out here? I've got a necklace mold, I have a bronze bar. I've tried it with the components to make a bronze bar. It's so, so stupid and there's nothing in the quest log, absolutely nothing about it. And all the guy says is, I'd guess that you'd need to get some bronze metal and work it into something that can be turned into a necklace. Unless it's not a necklace and it's actually just that. Unless it's like bronze wire, what could you make actually in bronze that would maybe wrap around your neck? Bronze wire? Maybe it is bronze wire. Maybe you use bronze wire and then you add the stuff to the bronze wire. Because in theory, a piece of wire, you could wrap it around your neck, right? That sort of makes sense, doesn't it? Let's try that. Let's go to Varrock. Is there anything else here that could be made into a necklace? I mean, I think wire makes the most sense. Let's try it. Bronze wire. Come on, please work. Use the bronze wire on that. Nothing happens. What about on the key? What? Nothing happens. I actually thought that was it for a second. You know, I got excited. Do you need more wire? Maybe? Is there anything else that could be turned into a necklace? I don't think so. Nothing logical anyway. Maybe I need more than one bronze wire. Let's just try it because I can't I can't give this this idea up yet. I feel like it's quite right. Like it feels right. Bronze wire. You could wrap wire around your neck. You could attach the pommel to it. In my head it sort of makes sense maybe. Unless you get a gold necklace and you use the bronze wire on it. No, right, okay. Let's make some more bronze wire. Don't think this is actually right because I thought it would stack for some reason. Nah, nothing happens. Don't know. I really don't know. What else could be turned into a necklace out of bronze? Maybe, maybe crossbow limbs? Maybe I could wrap some crossbow limbs around my neck. And then we use the bronze limbs on that. No, nothing happens. Or that onto the necklace mold. No. Oh. What? I just clicked on the chisel and the pommel and something's happened. You prepare the ivory pommel and the chisel to start crafting. What? You successfully craft some ivory into the beads. They will look good as part of a necklace. Oh, bone beads. Maybe that's what I was doing wrong. Let's get the wire back out. Maybe it was the wire and I need to craft it into beads first. Come on, please, please, please. Get in! Oh my god. Oh my god. I've been at this for like an hour. Yes, I actually cannot believe that. That was so difficult. You successfully craft the beads and bronze wire into a necklace which you name the Beads of the Dead. Fuck me. Right. Oh my god. God, I actually feel sick. Oh, fucking hell, I thought that was never gonna work. Right, oh my life. I actually can't believe it. I didn't think I'd have to destroy the pommel. I didn't even think about that. God, I'm so glad I just had the chisel in my inventory. At this point, I was just clicking random stuff. That is absolutely bonkers. Right, now we can wear this. Hopefully, we can go back to the temple place and she won't attack me, hopefully. Let's give it a go. Let's enter the hillside entrance. Come on, spawn and talk to me, please, please. Okay, she's not spawning, but last time I tried to open the gates and she spawned. Oh, I could just go through them. Okay, so she's not attacking me, so maybe this whole place is uh, her tomb? So now I need, to f I need to find her body in this entire cavern. Oh, there's something there, another dolmen. Let's uh, open these tomb doors. Oh, wow, this is cool. It's completely sealed, let's use the bone key on it again. Uh, nothing happens, right? Let's search it. The door is ornately carved with depictions of skeletal warriors. You notice that some of the skeletal warriors are not complete. Instead, there are recesses where some of the bones should be. There are three recesses. Do I need three sets of bones? Right, I think I need three sets of bones. Maybe we kill the undead ones because they drop bones. Let's give that a go. Let's grab the bones and let's see if we can use these bones on this door. Yeah, yeah, we can. Nice. Okay, I don't think this one drops bones, so I'm going to ignore you, mate, and just uh, try and kill this guy. So we need two more bones. Let's grab the bones and let's kill this one up here. Let's grab those bones, use that on there. Nice. And then we do that on there. Nice. The door seems to change slightly. 
They turn their head towards you, they're alive. The skeletons wrench themselves free of the door, stepping out of the door with grinning teeth, they push the huge doors open. That's cool. Right, now, let's look at this dolmen. You touch the dolmen and the ground starts to shake. You hear an unearthly voice booming and you step away from the dolmen in anticipation. What is going on? Holy crap, who the hell's that? Nazar Starul. Okay, do I have to kill him? Or can I just search it? Because he's not actually a... Uh... No, okay, I need to kill this guy, I think. Oh, there's two of them. I've accidentally spawned two of them. <laughs> I don't think I was meant to do that. Oh, man. Right, okay. What if I leave and come back? Or I just think I have to kill two of them now. Right, okay, let's just go for it. Um, hopefully killing one of them will despawn the other one, maybe? Right, so killing that did not do anything. I think I need to kill the second one and hopefully it will trigger some sort of end animation. Right, we killed them both now. Yeah, cool. You defeat Nazasteral and the corpse falls to the ground. The bones start to move again and soon they reform into a grisly giant skeleton. Holy crap, there's another one. Okay, he's come back. Okay, cool, that one's dead. Is it going to turn into something else now? An ethereal form starts taking shape above the bones and soon you face the vengeful ghost. Oh my god, there's another version. It's a really cool model though, I have to say. Look how cool it looks. I don't know who this person is, I'm not going to lie. I have really sort of lost the lore of this quest. I'm not going to lie. It's a lot of dead people. It's a lot of ghosts. There's a lot of tombs and temples that I've been in. And I've sort of lost track of everything, to be honest. Right, now what's going to happen? You hear a disembodied voice fading away into the distance. May you perish in the fires of Zamorak's furnace. Rashilia's curse upon you. You see something appear on the dolmen. Oh, so we've got Rashilia's corpse. Right, we've got the remains. I don't know who we just killed though. I need to find a way to put her spirit to rest. Right, let's go back to the shaman because he must have a way of doing it, right? Unless I can bury them here. No, nothing happens. I think I need to go back to the shaman and ask him what the hell to do because I don't know from this point. So let's get out of here. Okay, let's talk to Trophitus. If you have Rishilia's remains, you need to find a way to put her spirit to rest. Perhaps there was a clue with one of the artifacts you have. Why not have a look through the artifacts you have and see if there's a clue that might help? Uh, right, I don't remember. Let's have a little read through. The crumpled scroll is Rishilia's. Let's read through this. Rishilia's rage went unchecked. She killed without mercy for revenge of her son's life. No, it doesn't really tell me anything about... Oh, maybe I have to put her bones on her son's tomb. This is like she's going around killing people for her son, right? It was so heartbroken she swore fealty to Zamrak that if he would return her son to her. His remains were taken far to the south and then towards the setting sun. The only remedy for containing the spirits of the witches of the undead. That must be it, right? The son's remains were in there. And it's apparently the only remedy for containing the spirits of witches and undead. So it must be. We have to take her bones to his tomb, which is down here. And then pop them, hopefully, on that little... Uh, stone rock and then in theory that will contain her I think maybe honestly this quest has slightly confused me I'm not gonna lie I mean bronze necklace aside the whole lore behind it and I don't really understand who moved her corpse because she wasn't always knocking about was she she's only just started haunting people and taking over Shiloh village also why is her undead creatures only attacking Shiloh village they should be everywhere right everything I've done has been outside of the village so I'm a little bit confused as to why they've only contained them in the village right we're back in here pretty convinced this should work use that on the dolmen here we go. You carefully place Rashilia's remains on the dolmen. You feel a strange vibration in the air. Oh, here we go. You have my gratitude for releasing my spirit. I've suffered a vengeful and evil existence. I was tricked by Zamorak. He returned my son to me as an undead creature. My hatred and bitterness corrupted me. I tried to destroy all life. Now, I'm released. Hey, there we go. Shiloh Village complete. Two quest points, access to Shiloh Village, and 4k crafting XP. That was fucking awful. <laughs> Thank you so much for the support I've had since launching my channel membership. Honestly, this is so insane. We've got over 40 members of the channel and I've only had it running for a week. The support on this channel and series never fails to amaze me. Thank you all so much. And thank you to ASDZXC404, This Not Dog, Thior Bjornsson, Jack, Schmauzau, Itchiest Bug, Renak, Jax, Sleek Fabs, Patriotic Skull, Josda, Timothy Wisenand, and Deluxe Flame for subscribing to the Quest Helper plugin tier of membership. Thank you all again. Thank you.